allow that to our viewers to go from one room to another room or from the inside of a house to the outside. Right here, for example, I'm starting off my virtual tour in the bedroom of this hotel. But if I move over here, I can actually go to the adjacent bathroom by clicking on this hotspot right here. I click and indeed it takes me to the bathroom. In technical terms, this means that when clicking on this pink hotspot, the program opens a new panorama, the bathroom panorama, which I have interlinked with the first bedroom panorama using what you call a hotspot. So in a similar way, I can go back to the first panorama to the bedroom by again clicking on the door. And there you go, we're back in the first panorama. So yeah, as I said, you interlink two or more panoramas by integrating a hotspot. Right here I have integrated this pink hotspot into the door that connects bed and bathroom. Here's how you create a hotspot that opens a new panorama. So we start by opening the program 3D Vista Virtual Tour. Click Create New Project. I'm just going to leave the skin empty for now. Now you click Import Panorama if you have a panorama ready. Standard Panorama. I'm going to choose the first panorama that I've started off with, which is the bedroom panorama. Double click in order to enter the editing mask. And here you can see the spherical display of my first bedroom panorama. So what you want to do now is click on the top tab Hotspots, zoom in a little bit in order to see better where you're actually placing your hotspot. And on the right hand side you always have the specifications of the menu that you're actually in. So on the right hand side I have my three different forms of hotspot. I chose Polygon because I want to place it exactly in the door that connects bed and bathroom. Um, make it pink in order to pop out a little better. Uh, you can also change the line color and the thickness of the line color in order to make it more obvious. Or the transparency of the fill or veil color. In order to make it a little more obvious for first time visitors that this is something that you can actually click on that triggers an action, you can add something that is called tooltip. So right here I'm just gonna type click here in order to enter bathroom. And what's important is that right now, even though I have created this hotspot, I have not added an action. So in order to be able to trigger an action when clicking on this hotspot, you need to add an action right here. And the first thing that you should choose is that when will you trigger the action? On click or on rollover? I'm gonna leave it on click. And secondly, you're choosing the kind of behavior that you want to trigger. And because we want to go to the adjacent bathroom, we need to open a new panorama. Click on standard panorama. And here you go. There you choose the panorama that you want to open when clicking on the hotspot, which in our case would be the bathroom panorama. And there you go with a summary of the specifications. So I want it to open on click. The action or the behavior is to open the panorama in the main view, so that's all correct. And here is my new panorama that I have just interlinked with the bedroom panorama. In order to be able to go back from the bathroom to the bedroom, I need to add another hotspot in the bathroom panorama that takes me back from the bathroom to the bedroom. So I do the same thing. I make it pop out a little more by changing the fill color. I change my tooltip to click here in order to enter the bedroom. And lastly, and most importantly, add the action that I want to trigger when clicking on this hotspot. So the action should be open panorama and right here it already suggests the panorama that I have integrated already. So this is actually the correct panorama. We want to go back to the bedroom. So select media. Everything's correct in, in summary. So click on add and there you go. 
You've integrated the second hotspot that will take you back from the bathroom to the bedroom. Now what you can do with any kind of hotspot is decide whether you want to show it at all times or only when rolling over with the mouse. So depending on what you click here, your hotspot will be shown at all times or only when the visitor is actually rolling over it with the mouse cursor. Click on preview and check whether you like your result. Thanks for watching.